I think we've all had times in our life where we've had to seriously consider selling important family relics to keep a roof over our heads. And this week's missing artifact may have set the standard. Welcome back everyone to another video in our series on lost treasures from history and where to find them. Today's episode centers around the crown jewels of a lost kingdom used as part of the English crown jewels and auctioned off to finance the English Civil War. But following the big sale, the jewel fell from the history books. So join me as we deep dive into the source material to learn all about the Three Brothers Jewel and see if we can find this lost treasure of history. The now extinct Burgundy was once the kingdom at the center of several medieval wars. As an arbiter between France and England, Burgundy's nobility often hosted peace talks between the two powers. Burgundy's royal jewels consisted of three rectangular red spinels arranged around a central diamond and was the main centerpiece of Burgundy's crown jewels since its commissioning by Duke John the Fearless. Turns out, Duke John fell on hard times and pawned the crown jewels in 1412, but bought back the three brothers in 1419, shortly before getting assassinated. The jewels fell to the next Burgundian duke, but was part of a series of treasures captured in battle against the Swiss Confederation at the Battle of Grandson. From there, the jewel traveled to Basel, Switzerland, before German banker Jacob Fücher bought the jewel and stayed in his family for generations until Fücher's nephew fell on hard times and sold the jewel to English King Henry VIII. The three brothers then became a major centerpiece for the English crown jewels, worn especially by Queen Elizabeth I, featuring in two official portraits of the queen. Upon her death, the jewels then went to King James, who repurposed it as a jewel for decorating his favorite hat. I cannot make this stuff up. But when it was time for James's son, Charles, to go woo a Spanish princess, Chucky's dad sent him to Spain with the three brothers in hopes of helping his son secure a bride. Turns out that didn't work, and Prince Charles returned to England as a bachelor. Things didn't get much better from there either. After marrying his French rebound and receiving the throne of England, King Charles almost immediately faced civil war in England and needed funds to keep his family in power. King Charles sent his wife to The Hague to auction off the jewels and raise funds for the war. There's no record that Queen Henrietta ever found a buyer, though, as records show most people in continental Europe refused to buy the jewels. And the last mention of the three brothers are in Henrietta's letters to her husband, reporting that she couldn't find a buyer. Henrietta herself, however, did return to England shortly before the English Civil War went from bad to worse, as the monarchy was dissolved and Henrietta fled to Paris. There are a few clues about where the jewel went from there. Personal letters between Henrietta's secretary and two jewelers in continental Europe report the sale of an unnamed jewel, and one of the two, Thomas Klecher, had already purchased the Mirror of Great Britain, another important artifact of the British royal family. Henrietta also was intensely indebted to a Catholic cardinal named Jules Mazarin, who really lived up to the name as a jewel collector. Between Cardinal Mazarin and jeweler Thomas Klecher, it's most likely the jewel went to the latter, as Klecher had a close relationship with the English monarchs. He likely auctioned off the jewel without naming it to avoid hesitant buyers. Klecher also often broke up pieces to auction off individual jewels, so it's likely that the three brothers met the same fate. As a divided pawn job, the three brothers are likely never to be found and instead are most likely repurposed among royal jewelry among Europe's modern elites. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to see more anthropological videos. This video was made possible by contributions to this channel's Patreon from viewers like you. Thank you.